Hey, how's it going? Today is going to be either a very, very short day or a very long one. All depends on how it goes. We're going for an artifact. Now we're going into the cave that's over on the west side of the map here. We tried it once before using a frog and over horribly lost our stuff, lost the frog. However, this time we're going in a little bit different. Now I thought about taking the air tank in, the Diplo. Very, very fast in the water. Super simple, but can't really defend himself. There's a lot of eels, a lot of jellyfish in there, and potentially, at least in ASE, you had a chance for a squid to spawn in the cave. Terrifying thing, man. So I think what we're gonna do is take in the basil. Now I did have it out in between the last video and this one. Did a little bit of farming, got quite a bit more biotoxin actually, and some levels on him. So he's not doing too bad. Let me show you where we're at in life. All we have to do is repair our scuba tank and stuff. It's like almost broke. We're taking in both of them for sure, but that's kind of it, man. Do that, and then we have to actually swim from here over to there. So, Junior, he likes being down deep, man. Nice, out of the sun. The stats we have on this guy, he's roughly at just over 40,000 on the health, and then I got the damage up to 451. Now, he did have, I think, around 25,000 whenever we started off. We actually have our note in here. His damage was 366. I was thinking about putting more points into damage, but, ah, man, we don't have a good saddle yet. Haven't found one, so kind of put some points into health. Hopefully, that'll keep him alive. Now, I've never done this artifact cave with a basil before, so I'm not sure if it'll actually fit in or if it'll fit in all the way, so it's kind of a sketchy thing. I think what we're going to do is keep the... Oh, we can't. We can't keep the berry on us because I still got it set to where... I changed my settings. So I made it to where we can actually throw them out anywhere, but I still only want to throw our tames out near base where we have the crowd fridge. The reason I changed it is I wanted to up the range on it. The range on ours stops, like, right over here. And it's not deep enough to throw out the basil or anything. We have to go over there. So I kind of just disabled it, but I still want to stay... All right? Still want to stay over here whenever we throw stuff out. Kind of keeps you from taking all your teams in your pocket. Makes stuff too easy, man. So, let's repair our gear. Grab a little bit of me medical brew, and then we'll head out. Now, I don't think we're going to go back in if we lose all of our stuff. We might... Ah, it all depends, man. We'll have to go either take the angler fish with us, or I had to go over to the other base to get the Diplo. Not too sure yet. I was going to grab him whenever I was out, but I didn't go that way when I was on the Basil leveling him. I actually went up that way. Quite a bit of stuff over on this side. I didn't really see too much on the Silica Pearls. Did I already put the... I did. I already put the other tank up here. I think we need to make some polymer real quick. Right? Yeah, for repairs. All we need is some obsidian, and we should be able to make some of that. That'll give us time to grab our other stuff, get our medical brew sorted out. We got tons of obsidian, man. Set it up here. We're kind of almost done for the boss fight. I think all we're missing is the artifact over here, and then the other artifact that's in the other water cave, and that should be all that we need, and then do a little bit of breeding on the mammoths and take on the dragon. Hopefully be able to do it in one try. Let's make up all that. That should be enough to repair our stuff. What else are we missing for repairs? We can actually repair that now. We can repair that now. And then just some polymer there. Actually, we don't need too much polymer. I thought it was a lot. For some reason, I thought that the polymer was large amounts. We'll still make it up. But we can set that to run while we're gone. So we're just doing the one artifact cave today. I'm hoping we'll be able to get the artifact. If so, it should be super simple. But we'll have to see, man. I'm not decided yet, like I said, if I want to do a run to grab our stuff if we die. Because, I mean, we'll just kind of be throwing our other teams in there and probably losing them all along the way. Let's leave our extra armor here. That's our good pair of feet, gloves, and our chest piece. We are taking our helmet and then our pants. Now, we got a second set of pants. I could wear those just in case. I mean, they got more armor, but these have better durability. It's fine, though. It's fine. All right, so medical brew. You know what? We should leave our shotgun here, too. We can't use it underwater, so there's no use in taking it. And that is our good one we got back out of the other artifact cave where we died. Look, man, it's been hard with us in artifact caves. Should we take... You know what? Let's leave these. We can't do anything with those either. It's not going to help us. If we're in that cave and we get knocked off of our team, it, it's not going to help. That is hidden. And then we have the scuba gear. I think we're kind of set. Now, I don't know if the cave has changed any. It should be the same as it was before. Oh, let's leave you up here. We're going to just run down to the water and throw out the basil. And then we need to leave the berry as well. Look, I am not prepared for today. 
I've kind of been debating if I want to actually do... <laughs> do the artifact run. Should we leave anything else? I mean, the arrows we don't need. We don't need the shotgun ammo either. Or the narcotics. We can leave the note because if we lose him... I mean, the note's not going to be useful anyways, right? It just has all of these stats that we had before we started breeding. Oh, speaking of that... Yep. Quite a few eggs. Quite a few eggs for kibble. Why do you have stone? Oh, the stone was to weigh him down. Alright, man. Let's go down here, throw out the basil. Now we should be able to, right down here, still make it. Before I started building this base, I spawned one in just to test to see how shallow a basil could kind of go up here. Because we were going to build the original water pin on the lake here, but... Or not the lake, but the river. He just doesn't go too far down without getting stuck. There are piranhas, though. There we go. Yep, I, I knew it, man. The piranhas, dude. The piranhas. Yep. Now look at that, man. All the fish die because of a piranha. So we do only 212 damage. Even though we got some points into his damage, he still doesn't do very much. Yeah, see, we can make it pretty far up here. But that's what I wanted to do was extend the range on the cryo fridge to be able to reach out here. But it's not possible. At least I haven't found the INI setting for that yet. We can make it through here. Might have to remove some rocks. I do not want to pick this guy back up just to throw him out. Yep, yep. Look, you handle that, and I will clear away if you're a big belly. He's been eating a lot of fish, dude. Look, man, look. The guy was hungry. He was out fighting, tearing up the jellyfish. And he had a little bit too much to eat. Am I really going to have to pick you up? Look, dude, this is a terrible start to the day. I'm just saying. There we go. There we go, man. I thought I could make it. Drop this extra weight. Another point. Let's put that into damage. You definitely need it on the damage. Holy crap, dude. I need to keep remembering, too, whenever I pick him up. I actually need to... You're right? I actually need to grab that oil and stuff. That's kind of one reason for having this guy, is the oil. Every time I pick him up out of our little storage area, I forget the bag. There should be some there, actually, with the oil in it. There we go, man. Deep water. We can't see nothing. There we go, man. That should work out a little bit. It's still kind of hard to see over here for some reason. I mean, you can turn off the fog, but... I don't know. The water looks pretty broken like that. So I tried the new... ...pin system. I kind of like the old way of adding in waypoints. So that'll help us find that cave a little bit more. Like I said, when I was out here doing the leveling on the basil, I went ahead, found it. Now there's a ton, <laughs> it's a ton of bad stuff. When I was leaving over there, there was two pleasies, and then a couple dunkles, so... Might have to kill those guys off so they don't follow us into the cave. I didn't go in, but there was some of the electric eels right at the opening. Yep, it's gonna be a little bit of a swim. Alright, man, I'll see you whenever we get over there. And we'll try to find the entrance. Hopefully it's easy to find with the pin. And then try to grab some artifact. This is gonna be the artifact of the brute, I believe is the one that is in the, the cave over here. Well, there's some pleasies. There's another jellyfish. We're nowhere near the artifact cave. We already got stuff on us. Let's see about getting some more levels on this guy. Let him catch up. I heard something. Didn't know what it was. Oh, there's three of them. Oh, it's a Lepluridon! Ah, oh, dude, sorry, buddy. I have to take you out, man. Kind of sucks those things are permanent. Cool-looking creatures, man. I really like the model. What is he doing? Like a little whirlwind. Never seen him do that before. But if you got some honey, you can tame those guys up, and they give you a bonus to the loot crates and stuff, the water ones. Not sure where the water loot crates are on this map. I've never tried to find them, but you also get a buff, I think, for 24 hours afterwards that kind of reduces your air consumption in the water. It's kind of nice. Speaking of that, I totally forgot to grab one of the soups, too. Who's at level 80 and level 60? But the Leplardons are always like a level 5. Super short lifespan on them, too. Wish you could make them permanent, you know? Kind of like you can with the Titanosaurs and stuff. But there's no option in the game settings for it. I mean, there might be for ASA. I have to check and see. Junior, please, man, please. I have an artifact cave. I got some of your family over there waiting for me. Not sure what level they are. So we have got to get the damage up on this. I still haven't found another one either. So whenever I was doing all that messing around, trying to uh, get levels on this guy, did not see a single basil over here. I'm not sure if they spawn over here. I see, we still got a long ways to go. But I never saw any. 
All we have is those other two females by Herbivore Island, and it kind of doesn't work out. <laughs> I mean, we got a female, we need a male one. Let's do... Damage. Took quite a bit off, man. We don't even have enough meat to heal this guy up, either, from that uh, attack there. So, the coordinates are 53.5 and 10.3. And that'll bring it to the cave entrance. Like I said, man, if they could put more of those white crystals on the outside, so you can actually see... Junior, it's not your fight today, buddy. It'd make it a lot easier, you know? So, what's our health going into this? We were at 36. That's not too bad. We're missing 4,000. Drop all this junk. Just for weight reasons. And that'll be fine. So we should be safe from the eels and the jellyfish. It is super dark, super hard to see. And there's no way to turn the gamma up or down. It's... it's weird. It's in the settings to allow you to hotkey that, but those keys don't actually work. So right up around this corner. So we're gonna have to go a different way. I never brought the basil in here. There's a way that I usually go to the right. It requires you to jump over land. We're going to the left. I think that goes all the way and stays in the water this way. There was jellyfish or eels right there last time. There's a shark, though. I don't know if it's cave level. I'm sure you can't actually look all the way around on your team with the spyglass anymore, either. Weird change on that one. Seems to be nothing in here. It might, <laughs> it might be a super easy artifact run. I don't like doing it that way. I'd rather have the creature spawn in. Does he fit? Please him, this guy's gonna fit. Oh, he does! It's fantastic, man! So, if you go the other way, you have to jump over this little piece of land here, because it kind of blocks off. And there's absolutely nothing in here! So I was over in this area, whenever I made the pin, so it did give stuff time to spawn in. It seems like nothing did. It should be the little channel up here that leads to the chamber where it's at. Oh, there is stuff! They're all here! Yep, at least we're on this guy. We're safe except for the Torpor. I think we still get Torpor, right? Yep, yep. Level 253, they are definitely high level, man! We're doing okay. We're doing alright. We're out of stamina, though. That kind of worries me a little bit. See, the air tank, dude. We had to run past all this. Definitely could not stop to fight it. I mean, he doesn't really do any fighting anyways. But we would have to be super fast, man. Those things are cave levels, so... Kind of a big deal. Let's... Get our stamina. We got some points. Let's put that all into damage. Drop some weight. I know we got good weight on... The creature as it is, but if I need to... Kill this guy up, I don't want to have all that food in the way, you know? Or all the, uh, all the junk in the way of the food. There we go, man. We good? We alright? Shocking experience. <laughs> That's the way it goes, man. Electricity and water is not a good thing. So... Is this a chamber with the artifact? I hope it is, because we're kind of at the end. What is that? Is that the artifact? It's another eel. Yep. Easy, buddy, easy. We got jellyfish, too. Maybe they're all in just this one chamber now, instead of the whole cave. So the artifact used to be kind of in the middle. I'll take that biotoxin for sure, though. Another jellyfish. Take them out for sure. And then we'll hop off and search around for the actual artifact. It's gotta be around here, right? A lot of lag spikes in here. This might not be the right chamber! It's over here. Is that the way out? Oh, that's one of the ammo mites! I mean, we're in the water anyway, so it doesn't matter. I need to go to the surface and see where we're at. I don't think this is the right chamber for the actual artifact. Oh, that's gonna suck if we have to get out of the water still. It doesn't look like the right place.
We good? Check around here real quick. Oh, we're back at the beginning! I think! It's an explore note. So this is near the beginning if you come the other direction. So yeah, we're, we're, we're not in the right spot. Kind of sucks I couldn't get that with the Basil, man. Could definitely use the points. Let's head back out. This is not the proper place for it. I think maybe I went too far and looped around. Again, this whole way is, is new to me. I think. Double check, double check. I'm not sure why I keep getting the huge lag spikes in here. I mean, the whole game kind of has lag in it right now as it is. There's a loot crate. I mean, cave level loot crate while we're in here. We got some more hands! We got a blueprint as well! Oh, that's chitin. I don't want those. But these! Ah, uh, 86, 886. That is not bad at all, man. Artifact cave loot is the best. Alright, let's head back out. Let's see if there's another way. That is not the... place we're looking for. Let's go up top. We got a left and a right. Does this go anywhere? It doesn't. This is back near the start, too. There's another explore note up here. Put our fins back on. Is there anything in the water? That's the thing, though. That's the question. No notes? Oh, there he is, up there. Let's go ahead and grab it. While we're in here, might as well grab it. Run right off the side. I used to playing in third person. So we got two. I decide. Not really interested <laughs> in what you decide, man. Alright. We get out of here now. Junior, you gotta lose some weight, buddy. You've really gotta lose some weight in here. So this way should go to the start. We gotta go back this way. Normally come up on that room first, and then this other one over here. Oh, look, here's where it is, man. So this is the first chamber we came into, where we killed all the eels and stuff. Down here at the bottom is a little tunnel. This one leads into the artifact chamber, that's what it is. It's been a while since I've done this one, especially coming this way on a basil. Everything looks kind of different, like I was saying. But it should be in here. And there it is right there. Nice, man. Nice. We have definitely got to kill all this stuff off before we get off of our team. Got to level up on the basil as well. I see you over there, jellyfish. Or not jellyfish, but eel. Got one behind us and one over here. Let's go and grab aggro from all of them. Yep, yep. See, this is the easy artifact cave, too. The one on the east coast. Super hard, dude. There's so much stuff, including Moses, Alpha Squids, all that stuff in there. We definitely got to breed a Basil to take in there. Or speedrun it. I used to put a lot of points into the frog on his movement speed and just speedrun that thing. Now, you don't have the option to add stuff in for movement speed, so you can't really do it that way anymore. I mean, which is fine. Just got to find a different way to do it, you know? I think with the air tank, the Diplo... He's still pretty fast. Might be able to speedrun it on him. I think this guy might be stuck. Yep. He can still electrocute you, though. Let's kill this guy. Alright, let's try to... Yep, there's a Manta. Say we'll leave the shark over there. Let's try to grab the artifact. All we have to do is grab that and we can kind of head out. I mean, at least there's creatures in here. There's just none at the start, you know? Are we good? Let's be very, very fast. Artifact of... Yep, Artifact of the Brutes. Couldn't remember if that's the name of it or not. Let's put our fins back on in case something happens and... We lose the Basil? I mean, we shouldn't. We're heading out. I mean, we got some good loot, though, from the... Loot drop that we found. Yeah, they should definitely have more of these crystals kind of lining the way. Because we were in this room and I totally did not see... This opening down here. 
So you can go to the left to get out, but that's where it has the little piece of land that you have to jump over. So we'll go back out the way we came in, which would be leaving out of here and going to the right. A lot of lag spikes, so it's kind of weird. I mean, it's arc. It's not weird. It's just weird that they're in this cave. I never had them in here before. So here's a tunnel going out. I'll have to stop for some stamina here in a second. We'll get out, so we'll head all the way to the top. I think on the swim bag, I'll stay up near the surface and try to avoid all of the bad stuff that's down deep below. Let's get our stamina. Get our stamina. Clean out our inventory while we're at it. Has <laughs> so much junk in here, man. We got five levels. Let's do... I think just damage might be fine. Now, whenever we get the guy tamed up, or the other one tamed, and we do breeding, we'll probably put a ton of points into health. It all depends on if we find a saddle or not. Haven't found any, of course, but if we get a better saddle, that'll kind of dictate how much of the points we put into health versus damage. Because that other artifact cave, if we do take the basil, it's, it's going to be a lot of fighting, a lot of stopping to heal up as well. Yep, swing it wide, buddy. Swing it wide. Got a shark on us, but that should be fine. I think it's a normal flavor. At least we don't have the... Yep, probably going the wrong way. At least we don't have the pleasies out here waiting for us. However, there might be a moza and a squid. Just the way that it goes. I think this guy's immune to squids, right? As well, from being grabbed by him. Whenever I do taming for those, I always use a moza. I know you can use the turtles, but... Moses, what I always used. Really good saddle on them, and then pump a lot of points into health. Around 80,000. Very, very good way to tame them. Alright, let's go all the way up. See, we're super deep, man. Super hard to find that cave. I do not want to have to go back in there again. Mainly because it is so hard to find it, dude. I'll probably look for about a good five, six minutes. Alright. I think we're good. Alright, man, it's going to be quite the swim back down. I will see you at base. We'll go ahead and put our artifact out. Successful trip. As long as we don't die along the way, should be a good day. Junior. Gonna say, buddy, you know you can fly, right? Just saying, dude, he was, <laughs> as I was swimming up, he was going from over here and just motorboating along. Shark kept biting him. Just, uh, you know, just some arc things, man. Just some arc things. That's all that it is. We'll just go ahead and stop on the corner up here, and jump off there. Don't want to have to fight the shallow water, trying to get up closer to base. Did have some sharks on us, but... It might have got tripped up back there on the coral. I know I did. <laughs> it was almost an issue. Almost had to pick up the basil, man. Alright, right here will be fine, buddy. Right here is fine. Let's give us this, and that. And I think all the meat should be fine. We'll take some of the fish meats. Take it all. Oh, we are overweight. I was looking at his weight, not ours. Let's pick you up first. That way he doesn't get damaged. Don't have to wait it out. We'll drop some of this meat. Get nibbled on by a shark while we're waiting. We good? We're moving slow. Let's drop some more. We don't need all the prime meat. And actually, that'll be fine too. Nice, man. Nice! So I don't know if we have an artifact pedestal. We should have one. I don't know if we have one set up. We should have some that are up in the vault, though, I think. If not, we got plenty of obsidian to make some. Hopefully we don't get raptored or carnoed on the way up here, because I don't have my shotgun. Dude, the grass is so tall, man. Not sure why they made all the grass so tall. I mean, it's kind of cool for some places, but others, it just... Oh, dude, it's super annoying. All right, there we go. Close that. We are safe. Guys, we got the artifact, and we have our team. Good day, man. It's definitely a good day. Is our... Our bird's down there, I think. I have to grab him before we go, or else I'm gonna totally forget. Oh, you're up here, buddy. You're up here, man. You're fine, dude. You're fine. So, we got some meats, we've got a biotoxin. Just put it all in the refrigerator for right now. There's that. There's that. That'll all be fine. And then let's drop the gear off. We should have enough to actually repair it, too. Nice, and that's kind of set. Don't forget, we still need to grab that other basil here soon. We got some more gloves. The oil. So here's the thing about the oil. You guys told me that we can use it to make the jerky. So let's do... 20 in there. Take this out. Empty these as well. We're so good on spark powder and everything else. And before we go, I need to remember to check real quick the greenhouse. 
we're putting the dino parts in here. Alright, let's put our artifact out first, and then we'll check on the crops. Easy, easy. We got one right there. And two over there. That's fine, man. You can put it right here. There we go. Can't believe we lost the frog the first time. And I can't I can't believe it because it was a it was a horrible cave, dude. All those jellyfish, man. They're no joke, dude. I don't want that stuff, please. And thank you. I do want some of that though. Guy gets hungry. Check these real quick. See if they're full. If so, we will empty them out. Ah, they're still doing alright. These will have to come in empty. I'll do that off camera. Go ahead and grab all the berries. I think we're actually pretty good. Might need the narco berries for making narcotics, but everything else might be fine. I think. We got the biotoxin for the shocking trank dart, so don't really need to make anything else as far as the normal darts. See, we're actually pretty good. We got the narco berries and the tinto berries as well, just to make some of the medical brew. Ah, dude. Well, not too bad of a day. Went fairly well. We had some creatures in there. I kind of got worried at the start because, I mean, you know me, right? I don't like just running through the empty caves. I like there to be a challenge. That's kind of the whole reason for playing Ark. But as we got to that one chamber, there was a ton of the eels. They were all kind of just posted up right there. Got kind of lost in there. I mean, it happens, man. Went a different way on a bigger team. But we found a little tunnel that goes in. Got the artifact. Didn't lose anybody. So overall, not too bad of a day. I think all we got left is the one artifact on the east side. That is the bad one. We'll see, man. Haven't decided what to do about that one yet. Couldn't hold it. Couple more seconds, couldn't hold it. <laughs> but, might just try to speed run it. Probably gonna lose all of our stuff when we do. However, we are gonna go ahead and leave this one here. Hope you enjoyed the video. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.